Jesus! 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 Tiago Van Dijk and Gomez might as well be sitting around fucking polishing their knobs for as much use as they were. <laughs> Welcome to the cha fan channel review. Let's go! Welcome back, people. Leave your comments below. Make sure you're subscribing to the Football Terrace. I was sent this video. It is beyond epic. Beyond epic. Let's take a look. Number 20 is coming. So this guy is predicted Liverpool are going to be champions. That's what he's done. Okay. <laughs> What's this? Coming home for Liverpool. What the fuck was that? What have I just watched? What the fuck have I just watched? Thank God we have Manchester United next week. Call the season off. <laughs> Call the season off. Call the fucking season off. We finally won a game. I think it's fair to say Liverpool are back. Get in there! Massive win! How do you drop points to them? How the fuck do you drop points to them? Get rid of all them. Embarrassing. We are a joke. As expected. And bring on Arsenal at the weekend. <laughs> they need humbling. Fuck this team. <laughs> That's the best one! That's the best one! That's the best one! Let's go back to that. Listen, listen. And bring on Arsenal at the weekend. They need humbling. Fuck this team. <laughs> Why? 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 <laughs> All right, let's keep going. And let's just hope that this is the start of something special. How do we go from the performance against Manchester City to one week later produce stats? I don't think anybody would want to play us. I don't remember the last time I enjoy watching Liverpool. <laughs> I love it. The time we the time. Let's do that again. Yes. I don't remember the last time I enjoy watching Liverpool. The champions. <laughs> As no, I, I promise, like, and even even it's it, it was it's been a weird it's, these past few months. Uh, me, knowing out shit show the Liverpool performance, I'm sure Jurgen Klopp will come out with some nonsense about how we played well and how we could have won the game, yada yada. But ultimately, Leeds have just fucking won it. Leeds. <laughs> Do you know what's beautiful about this? He's obviously having a pop at Klopp. Klopp will come out and defend the team. And just as he says it, they score. The timing, the timing, Craig, impeccable. They've just won it right there at the deck. Jesus! <laughs> oh, he's beautiful. He's beautiful. It's the rare thing of beauty. It all came from us dicking around at the back again. Two lads out there with them. Two fuck. Look. Look at this dickhead defender. Look at the state of this. F Honest to God, lads. If I had a group of 10-year-olds who defended like that, I'd sub them all off. That is I need to ask this question, Liverpool fans, though. Um, what do you really put this down to? FSG, Klopp, both. It's one of those three for me. I, I really, I'm not even going to give you my opinions on it right now. I just want to know what you think in the comments section right now. Who do you put it down to? Jesus! 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 Tiago Van Dijk and Gomez might as well be sitting around fucking polishing their knobs for as much use as they were. Lost by Ericsson! Uh, what a goal! What a goal! Absolutely brilliant! What a ball by Ericsson! And it's a towering header by Marcus Rashford! He's found his head! He's found his forehead! That is an absolute brilliant, brilliant cross by Ericsson. I love Goldbridge. This is why Goldbridge is probably the goat for me. He goes from talking. <laughs> this is the difference in his voice. What a ball by Ericsson. What a ball by Ericsson. And then it's a towering he header by Marcus Rashford. He's found his head. He's found his forehead. That is an absolute. Br and then it's normal again. <laughs> I love Harry <laughs> when Goldbridge gets excited. His voice goes from his normal accent to this kind of uh, 1950s advertising goal. Oh, let's go. <laughs> brilliant, brilliant cross by Ericsson. And Marcus Rashford scores. Absolutely fantastic. 
Absolutely I, I fantastic. Want, I say this as well, though. I get why Goldbridge is excited. It was a brilliant goal. But it's kind of been under... It's a world-class goal, in fact. Because the ball play from Ericsson and Bruno Fernandes was fantastic. But we haven't had players at Man United being that aggressive at back posts in headed challenges for a long time. And those goals have been a rarity at this club and you need them because the best clubs in Europe, the best clubs in the world do it on a regular basis. And I think Rashford's aggression, and I get why Goldbridge is buzzing there because Rashford's aggression aggression needs a lot of praise. There's no doubt. Let's take a look at what Faz at United you had to say. He couldn't. Everybody did their part. I'm absolutely loving Rashford's aggressiveness. Talk to me about it. I'm loving it because I have to give this guy utmost credit because I was one yeah, of the first individuals. Was. Firstly, bruv, what is that coat? Legit, bruv. <laughs> did you get that? Where'd you get that from? Like Bianca from EastEnders. <laughs> oh, it's a bit, little shiny Catwoman. Do you remember Catwoman? Was it Sigourney Weaver? <laughs> Sorry. Properly hammering him. This guy's, he's, he's intercepted. The guy's running back and winning the ball, slight tackling and whatnot. That's it. What else could you ask for? The goals and everything will come. Like I said. Could we go as far as saying then that you're saying you was wrong yes. about Rashford? Yes. And that season I was wrong because he was also not performing. But now he is. I'm going to eat my words and say, yeah, you know mm. what? Well done you. This is what football's about. I keep saying, you come and you prove yourself wrong and the goals will come. The header goal was top class. And it's I will say this about Faz for a, a moment here. Like, big him up for kind of saying, I, 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 I was wrong. I got called out yesterday over the Rashford stuff. And I'll be honest with you. Nobody was wrong to ask for him to be dropped. Nobody was wrong to say that it would be out of line for Man United to give him a new deal at the beginning of this season. Because he didn't deserve one. You know, he had 12 to 18 months where he was poor. You don't reward that with another three to four year deal. You do what Ten Hag has done, what the fans requested. Prove you can get back to being brilliant and we'll give you a new deal. And Rashford has taken on that challenge. Ten goal contributions in 15 games. There's still a long way for him to improve. I still think there's another level for him to go to to get back to his very best. But he's on course to get between around 28 and 35 goal contributions this year. And that's what Rashford is. And Faz is right. He's tracking back. He's working hard, scoring goals. He's becoming an integral part of this team. And most of us thought it'd be Sancho that went to the next level under Ten Hag. Most of us didn't see it being Rashford. So a lot of us have got to say, you know, that we were wrong. But no one knows what's going to happen. And Manchester United looking like they are putting everything together now and having a bit of a revival um, means that there's going to be more challenges for the top four. But with Liverpool falling away, with Chelsea, mm. like, oh, Chelsea Just getting get, uh, no, I don't want to talk about that. We are, I'm sorry, we're going to have to talk about it. Um, it does feel, it, it feels, com I love I love the Premier League. I love that this is so different yes. every year. It mm. feels wide open, doesn't it, for the top four at the moment. Spurs, even though Spurs won at the weekend, finding a way to sort of win at the death, I still think if you were Newcastle, so you have to be ambitious. You have to believe that. I, I want to pull on this because we, we don't talk about Newcastle. As, you know, we're a top, we're, you know, traditional top six channel, as we would call it. We talk about the, 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 the sort of the inaugural top six. But Newcastle should be feeling confident this year. Laura Woods, uh, one of the best broadcasters, presenters in the world, uh, absolutely spot on there. Spot on like you wouldn't believe that um, Newcastle have got to be feeling a little bit of confidence. If in January... I kind of made a bit of a, a, a statement a week ago and listening to Laura Woods, I listened to the show this, this morning, changed my mind somewhat. And it's changed my mind from the point of view of if they go out in Jan and reinforce and add another midfielder, maybe another attacker, someone else at the back, they will have that squad depth to go the course. They will have the squad depth to go the course. And of course, they're going to spend more money. Chelsea and Liverpool have got to turn things around quickly. They really, really have because they were expected to be shoe-ins for the top four, along with Tottenham and Man City. Arsenal have not only forced their way into that, they're now top of the league and looking sensational. And, you know, Tottenham, I still think will make it with Antonio Conte. I still think they'll do it. But Liverpool and Chelsea, it's looking absolutely peak for them right now. It really is. Let's go! Come on! Come out and smash the theory of we get tired in the second half, like because it was a step up in level in the second half. Fantastic performance. 
you know, put a team to bed that wish we should have done. I, I can't, I can't say enough. Can't. Do you know what? I want, I want to shout out what Lee Judges is saying there in relation to Arsenal because they had a poor run of games. You know, they, they got fortuitous in the second half against Leeds because they fell off. They were poor in the second half against Southampton. But let's not get it twisted. In both those games, they should have been two, three, four goals up in the first half. They were poor against PSV and were comprehensively beaten. No Arsenal fan would deny this. But they showed up on Sunday, and I know there were rivals thinking, oh, there could be a problem here. They scored that first goal, and then Forrest had some chances in the first half. And then there was this expectation. You saw it online. Go back, find the tweets of, oh, they might fall away. They're not a great team in the second half. They're not a great team in the second half. Maybe Forrest have got a chance. And they put that to bed. The same as they put put to bed this notion of they put to bed this notion of uh, fatigue and tiredness. Twelve games into the season, they just had a run of two or three games where they weren't at their scintillating best, and they got back to it very quickly. For fantastic performance, the fear factor's coming back with Arsenal now, isn't it? I mean, you know, you saw how they come, and I think we're going to see this a lot. The fear factor is Robbie saying people are scared of Arsenal. It's true. They are. And I know you in the comments. Like, no, I ain't scared of Arsenal. Everybody is scared of Arsenal right now. You're scared of Arsenal because a sleeping joking giant has reawoken. Especially at the Emirates. Teams are going to come. They're going to sit deep. Right. You could see what their tactic was. Sit deep. Try and get up to the big centre forward. But he was marshaled brilliantly, Brilliant. I thought, by Saliba. Which, by the way, I, I, what a performance by him. I saw that guy last week bully up Liverpool's. Is it on him? Wait. I yeah, keep pronouncing yeah. his name wrong. Up, um, yeah. Oni. 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 Brilliant Van Dyke, didn't he? Oni. Yeah, no, he was brilliant. He was brilliant against Liverpool last week. And, and I want to shout out Saliba as well. Robbie's absolutely spot on in what he says there. Saliba has been, every bit as much as Gabriel Jesus, has been an absolute revelation for Arsenal this year. What you will see, and mark my words on this, you've already seen it with Jesus, you'll see it with Saliba. Any little mistake is going to start to be highlighted soon. Because rivals fear for Arsenal means they're going to try and knock down everything they are doing. I want to say all the links to all the contributors are in the description below. Go and support their channels. Support the fan content community. It's very, very important indeed. Make sure like buttons are being smashed and you're leaving your comments below. It was a bad weekend for Chelsea. A disastrous weekend for Liverpool. But we'll see you all again soon. Take care. Goodbye. God bless. And we'll see you in a bit. Jesus! 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 Jesus!